So this worksheet was looking at the characteristics of different components and we often call these the IV or the current potential difference characteristics. So um, the first one we had, we looked at an ohmic conductor and this is where the constant temperature, the current is proportional to the potential difference. You double the potential difference, we double the current. Now over here, we've got a graph showing two resistors, A and B. So this is a graph that you should be familiar with the shape. Um, these act as an ohmic conductor and I is indeed proportional to V. But which of these has a greater resistance and why is that? Well, what I did was I looked at a certain value of potential difference. Now we don't know the actual value because it's the shape that we're interested in, but at this value of potential difference, resistor B has a low current and resistor A has a high current. Now what that means, is that even though the, the, these might be connected, imagine in a, a very similar circuit, B is going to let less current flow round. And the reason that less current is flowing is because B must have a higher value of resistance. So effectively with this graph here, the lower that line, the greater the resistance of that resistor. But we also have this shape over here. Um, this one here, I just sketched it on to show there's this kind of S shape. It goes through the origin. Um, and this shows that actually the resistance changes. And it's not an ohmic conductor because V is not proportional to I. If you double the potential difference, we don't double the current going through it. And therefore this is not an ohmic conductor. And that's because as it gets hotter, the resistance increases. We then look at diodes, which only let current flow one way in the circuit, which is why when you've got a negative value of potential difference, we have no current flowing. So again, this is the shape that you should be familiar with. And then for question six, um, all I'm doing is I'm going to use the numbers on the graph to read it off. And I just put some dotted lines to show the data I took. So the resistance, we could have worked at any point on the line. We could have done uh, minus, um, what is it, over here, we could have done minus one divided by minus 20. I just chose this point here. So we've got one, which is the potential difference divided by 20, which was the current to find that the resistance was 0 0.050 ohms. So that's going to be the same anywhere for that resistor. But for the filament lamp, it's going to change. Or is it a filament lamp? No, this one's a different component. It's not a filament lamp because actually a filament lamp has more of an S shape like this. Whatever this is, this kind of magical component, all we're doing is at a value of minus 4, I'm reading off the value of the current. So at minus 4 volts, the current was minus 16 times 10 to the minus 3. And I suspect a lot of you might have missed that out. We've got a milliamp, so that's 10 to the minus 3, which gives the resistance at this particular point equal to 250 ohms. So a little bit tricky there, but this is where we can actually look at the shape of the graph, read some values off it, and then use that with, along with the the equations that we already know. So just a few introductory questions there to IV characteristics.